Hi Katie's, Sherry Katie here, and today we're talking about another Hadouki Yo cosplay. Why? I think I've kind of gone over the handle with these cosplays, but I am really excited to talk to you guys about this one. This is the first cosplay I've custom made in like six years. My first cosplay was my Katori Minami from Yume no Topira, and now we have this Hadouki Yo, so another idol. But this time it's a little bit different because this cosplay wasn't made anywhere. The only time you could search for it is through Easy Cosplay, and I don't really trust Easy Cosplay right now, considering what they've done to other cosplayers. So, I had to go through a different route because it wasn't even on um, AliExpress yet. They only have Shun and Ruri on AliExpress right now, but I want Yo's, obviously. So, the next place I had to look was Taobao, and obviously some Taobao sellers have it, but let's see. To get to Taobao, I have to use a proxy shopping service. So that's where Binder comes in. This is not sponsored. This is me just reviewing what they've done and the cosplay itself because I'm so excited. First off, we have the pants. They are standard black pants. They do not have the, what is it, the dog houndstooth dog tooth pattern that some of them have on it. It's an additional like pattern on it, but it doesn't have to be on it. So I'm actually really excited because these look like they fit. Look at them. And I will say this is a custom made one, so it should look bigger than the extra large. Um, oh, I'm so excited. I know these are just black pants, but you know with cosplay plants, they don't normally fit us, anyone in the West, too much. So it's buttoned up. It has a zipper here. The zipper works. And there is the gold detailing that is really stitched on really well. There's a couple threads, but that's fair. It is like, it, it is what it is. It needs a good iron though. And oh yeah. All the seams are, um, or all the ends are uh, surged. So all the raw edges are surged. That's what I was trying to say. Um, there is an elastic on both sides, so it does get bigger if we do need to, but yeah. And then there is the cosplay tag. Okay, I've got a notion that there's actual real pockets. Okay, next we have the shirt. Um, it is a really nice fabric. Um, those are more of a knit fabric for the pants. But the shirt fabric is so nice. It reminds me of those things you see at Uniqlo and they're like nice linen cotton fabric and I love it. This is so nice. It's like breathable and oh, it's, and it's short sleeve. I'm really happy that it's short sleeve and you can see that it actually probably will fit me. So then these are the button plaque. I'm just admiring all the handiwork of the pleather because I couldn't have done that on my own. Especially this little detail, how it comes out and in. I, I really wouldn't trust myself making this on my own. And oh my god. And then this side with the ruffle is just as nice. And it has the two little pleats here. And then this coming in and out is so perfect. And it's sewed on. Like it's it doesn't come off, but it's an additional layer on top. So you can see like that. In the images looks it looked like the collar was off. So Biner gives you an image when um they receive the cosplay and when I was looking at the image, the color looked like it was off, but it's just because of the asymmetrical is what I'm saying, but it looks really nice. Here is the jacket. I <laughs> I am kind of, wow. I, I, I just, okay. When I ordered it, I thought it was velvet, but this fabric is just as good because it shines just like velvet and it's lighter. And I wouldn't have thought of making it out of this fabric. And then we have the collar, which is really nicely done. There is a couple threads here and there but fair I still wouldn't have been able to do this so straightly and even to do this side like this printing here I wouldn't have able to do that and even this little corner is perfect oh look at this too look at this one ah uh, okay all right so let's move to this sleeve so there's the button Look at, they actually did the details, look at this. Ah, uh, you can't, look, right there. It's an actual sewn on top. There's some here too with the studding. The studding actually goes to the bottom. And then the sleeve, okay. All right, I just need to pop the button. So this is like a softer fabric than the other one. It is lined on this side. It's just a plain black. This is so pretty. So look at the bias tape, like I wouldn't have been able to. Oh, there's a bit of, hmm. I mean, it's on the inside, it's not a big deal, but. Um, I'll take a look, it's probably just 
threading or something. Oh, it's mach oh, it's on this whole panel. Okay, I gotta see if I can wash that out. But right there, you can see here and here. Otherwise, it's good. Um, or it's just the gold paint. Anyways, it's probably just stating from the gold, and it is lined the jacket again a couple threads, but not too bad. And it's gray or silver on the inside. Okay, so the other side, which is the fluffy side, it's pleated. So look at this. It's like a pleated, like a skirt. It's box pleated. You can't see it. <laughs> and then it's like surged at the bottom so it doesn't fray. And then this side has the gold line at the top. And this is continue with the same white as the shirt. And then Oh, this is so pretty. So I think, I feel like they ironed it and then it stuck together. Yeah. So it sits like this and it's the same fabric and it's gold. Like it's um, pressed on. It's not very straight on this one, but it's not bad. And I'll probably be adding filigree on top of it anyway, so it's not a big deal. I'm adding filigree to this cosplay. That's the only thing I wanted on to. Like everything else was fine. I just wanted to add filigree because you'll see with the accessories what I need to uh, get the button plaque oh my god and then we get the gold pieces here again this is so pretty and then it goes gold like I seriously wouldn't have been able to do this look at this not to mention the inner lining like the actual details that they have now on the suitcase look at it okay now for accessories um so bracelet it's made of the same black fabric as everything else, and it's velcroed together, and the studs are actually real studs. Velcro. Um, okay, so glove and glove. Okay, I was gonna say something, but they don't even have fronts, so it doesn't really matter. So, it's not closed at the end, but that's okay. It's, it's fine by me, like, um, Gloves are hit and miss with cosplay. I might even replace them, but they fit really well. So, wow, that actually, yeah, they fit. Okay, this side's, they're pulling a bit, but they fit really well. It's an easy to replace, especially if I want pleather gloves. So here's the belt. Um, It's such good gold detailing. They're actual button studs, like look at this. I wouldn't have been able to do that as a cosplayer or like with my skills as a cosplayer because I don't have the um, equipment and machinery to do that because you can see it's just thread with a pleather. Here is the hair bow. It just goes on his hair like on his ponytail, so I believe it looks like it's interfaced. So I was gonna buy one actually, but yeah, they've given me one and it has the, it's double layered. This is, this looks like a choker honestly, but same thing as the other bracelet. This is another bracelet and it just, it goes cross around your arm, but it's just longer and the studs and then velcro which i you know just be careful and then here's the bow which is gorgeous i do want to add filigree to the star here but not bad and it's the same black as everything else and it's snap it's not velcro it's a snap on this one surprisingly enough and then his feathers it comes in this little soccer pouch and there's an extra button by the way and then the two feathers and then this little star like it's not bad like the leather but I would rather have metal but anywho I got my wig right here let's try it on Not bad really like it okay let's not talk about my wig I did it within a couple minutes and just ponytailed it it's still in the style of his casual outfit for this year but it fits really well the pants are actually bigger than like they need to be not to mention I did tuck the shirt into the pants it's still big <laughs> this is so breezy I love it and then this side is just really nice really 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 like this is like a sleeve it's nice i i don't know about this yet i'll take a look later the buttons are really good um oh this doesn't 
edge. I don't know how that's supposed to sit. There we go. The feathers here, and I realize they're following the animation design instead of the original, I'm gonna butcher his name, the artist design that has a second line here. So, not not like they're as accurate, but just, you know, little details like that from, you know, different alliterations of it. I don't know how to tie it. I'm gonna have to learn how to tie this thing. Cause it's just, an, I guess a knot, does it look like? Oh, that looks right. There we go. It's been moving up and down in my body, but see the pants fit really nicely. And they will bag up when I put on the boots. And this thing looks great. Look at the bag. Doo, doo, doo. Ah, I agree. Okay. And also I learned that there is a spare glove. There's only supposed to be one glove on his hand, but they gave us two. And obviously this will have its issues because it's not two separate ones sewn into um, an X. It's just one sewn in the X and then the one by itself. The other thing, <laughs> I'm gonna have issues dancing in this, especially White's um, Suki no Zipta because it goes, and then it does, yeah, I can go to here, but that's the only thing. I think the sleeve, yeah, the sleeve holes are too small. Looking at it, I would choose to wear this. Like, this is a cosplay tie out of 10 that I would pick up and be like, yeah. Like, dancing in it, doing whatever I do in it, that's another thing, because that's me. But the arm detailing. So now we're going to talk about Binar as a whole while I'm in Hadukiyo right now. So, Binar is a proxy shopping service. I think I've said that earlier. And you can buy cosplays from Taobao on it. And they work really well. I had a great experience with them. They contacted me because this costume was custom made. They needed my sizing. While Biner already does the sizing, like you can fill out their custom sizing form already and you can put your measurements. They actually messaged me and asked me for my measurements again. And for some reason they asked me my shoe size, so I gave it to them anyways. But that wasn't needed for this cosplay at all, but it asked for it. And here's the problem with the listing on the Suki the cosplay for the one I bought. So first off, I was reading the description. It said there was only male cosplays available. But when you went to click on whatever to order, it said there's male and female cosplays available, which made me really confused. So I did message them, I did ask, and then they're like, you selected the female version. And I was like, but the description. So I just went and did a custom made and I'm really happy that I did do the custom made because it fits me better because my body is different and it like it just goes large like probably medium and then into the large again what i did was i gave them an extra inch and they probably gave me an extra inch which is fine like make it bigger perfectly fine and then i did the like 41 i think but i made the measurements bigger than my actual measurements so that there was extra leeway for it but I have a few mutuals that have already made this set of costumes and they had so much time with the red dyeing the white. I don't know how they did that because it doesn't technically touch the white unless you don't like this is lined but like it's lined to the so hold on it's lined to about here as you would line a jacket and then it's gray on the inside so I'm not sure exactly how they dyed it but they went through a lot of hell and heck to do this my main issue would have been the belt with all of these little um studs i would have been able to do that so oh some of them aren't even but not a big deal it's it, it's it's not a big deal it's like i wouldn't like these are things that i wouldn't have been able to do because i don't have the equipment or the materials to do for things like the gloves i would have ordered them and done that and this thing I would have probably screwed up a couple times on it, especially looking at my Hajime cosplay and I'm kind of crying about it. So <laughs> overall, I'm really happy to have this like come to fruition. Like this is just, oh, I, I can't, I can't, I can't explain enough how happy I am with this. Like, I mean, my pet peeves are my pet peeves, but this is a great cosplay. So 10 out of 10 would recommend actually try binary search up, look at cosplays and yeah, because they're really cheap and they actually have uh, custom sizing when you need to. So yeah, anyways cuties, I'm way too excited about this so I could ramble on forever. But thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you cuties later. Bye!